Hello and welcome in. My name is Mark, aka The Markster. This is video number 47 in the FreeCAD series. In the last video, I mentioned how we could use the draft <clears throat> tool that we talked about in that video to to make dovetails to do a a compound angle on dovetails. Now normally when you make dovetails they're they're straight. They're not angled. But there could be a case where you want them tapered at another angle and I'll show you how to do that. I want to go to go to a website this is my own website, nwganson.freeyellow.com slash dovetails. <clears throat> this is a calculator for calculating your dovetails. So the way this works, it's very difficult to measure these, this T value here, the white line. Because it's hard to get your your uh, micrometer all the way into that corner. So there's a technique that involves using um, rods. Let me show you a little model that I had made a while back. So I use these rods here. This can be drill rod or whatever. And you measure the distance. Let's go up here again. From the outside of the rods or from the inside for the female part. And you enter those values in to here to calculate what the uh, T and Y values are. So that's just a little. Tip there. I made this a few years ago. Now let's look at making dovetails. So I'm going to go to um, dynamic data, <coughs> create a dynamic data storage container, then we'll go back to part design. So let's define a few variables. And let's look at this image again. So let's call the height value H, which will be the same for both. And that's going to be a length height. And I'll just call it 10. And let's see what else we need. We need a T for the female part. That'd be another length type. I'm going to call that TF. Good height for that. Good length for that would be maybe. Let's just try 30 for now. Let's do a TM. And the, <clears throat> the Y. Y for both also. YF. Let's make this twenty. Uh, 
And let's create one called clearance. And I'll make it 0.25. We could define this height. This would be a female height. And this height. Mm. The overall height. The male height. zero for the moment. This is <clears throat> this one was ten. So we just make this 20. And this overall width will be the same for both. Sixty on that. All right, now the Y male should be a little bit smaller than the T female, so it'll fit. So Y M. Let's set that to F M. clearance now yf ym I think I did that backwards <coughs> So my F should be a little bigger. <clears throat> nope. T female. Okay, Y male is letter smaller than T female. That's what's got me confused. Let me just clear this. So this is TF minus clearance. Yeah, YM is TF minus the clearance that we're going to set. Okay. <clears throat> and TM is going to be smaller than YF.
TM slightly smaller than YF. I think the H can be the same for both. Yeah. We can make it slightly less. Let's just leave it the same. Because the Y male being a little bit smaller will allow it to come up and create a little gap. Okay, I think we're ready to start making these. Go ahead and create a sketch. And I'll put this on the XZ plane so we'll be looking straight at it from the front. This will be the female part. This part here. So let's sketch that out with the multi line tool. This is roughly. And we'll dimension it afterwards. This will be horizontal. These will be horizontal to one another. These two will be equal. And I'm wondering about, I think what I'll do is I'll center with these three points. That way the male part will be centered around these points as well on the bottom here. And this will be that overall width. get some of this situated before I set that one. If something happens unexpected, not what you want, just undo it. Try this again. All right. So we have five degrees of freedom. Let's set this H property.
Now this is going to be 60 degrees. Let's try to set that width again. First you fail, try, try again. Clear these out. <clears throat> so we got two degrees of freedom. That should be the length of this and <clears throat> position of these. degree of freedom. This is what it would call that the T female. the looks of that even though it's fully constrained we need a better value for this uh, just close this up here we'll go ahead and pad it and I'm gonna choose 50 millimeters from the front let's center our view All right, now, let's make YF 30. Maybe 40, be a little better. Yeah, all right. So that, is the female part and now let's make the male we'll make that in another body and create a new body let's let's hide the do we need to hide it not really create another sketch on the XZ plane again All right, and we'll sketch this one out. Mm 
not trying to get it exact right here just roughly right click to get out of that mode these will be symmetric about the origin <clears throat> This angle here will be 60. And these two will be symmetric. This will be that overall width. symmetric also and <clears throat> this is the Y male dimension degrees of freedom <clears throat> we need to make these horizontal with each other and now the only one remaining is this male height Add that out. Suppose I should make <coughs> a variable for that pad length. Might as well if we're going to be parametric. And I'm just going to call it pad length. <coughs> and that was 50. In this case is the same for both which might or might not always be the case all right so now let's check our clearance Select both bodies, choose the cross sections tool, and it creates two cross sections. Now let's hide the bodies and view from the front. <coughs> Zoom in. Alright, so you see we have a little bit of clearance there. But it should, in theory, enable. Enable this to move down just a hair. Let's say minus point one two five, and you might need a different uh, a different amount of clearance. 
so you can see that it fits now is there no clearance I don't know and I should also point out that typically you will have Gibbs in here that are used to tighten up or loosen the fit so you have a little movable uh, a little movable piece <clears throat> that'll fit in here that extends the length and you'll have some holes here with some screws to go in and those screws will push that gib up up against here to um, to set the amount of clearance that you need and as the parts wear over time you can adjust that to uh, keep the, just the right amount of friction because you don't want it too loose because then you'll have slop and it'll be sort of wiggling side to side sometimes it's a tapered um, gib that'll go in from one side and as you adjust the amount of distance that it goes in or out you adjust the tightness I'm not going to bother with with adding that bit of complexity to it because eventually <coughs> if you just <coughs> if you just make it like this as it wears it's going to get some slot built into it all right now since we talked about using the, uh, the draft tool on here, you wouldn't want it with this particular configuration unless you unless you did. So if we if we made this at an angle, <clears throat> and let me just do it and show you. Needs to be the active body. Let's hope I got the right one here. Let's see. Yeah. Now let's make it uh, more. You see how it's doing. And if you wanted it in the other direction, let's set reverse to true. And that was what, five degrees? <clears throat> Do the same on the other one now. I need to make it this one the active body All right. and select these two faces apply a draft and just make it five now show the other one Let's see if we can go to wireframe view. So you can see as you as you come in with one of these set displacement here along the Is it the Y? Yeah. So you can see as you come in, it's going to get tighter and tighter. And eventually, jam. Which might be what you want in some cases. So if you want to make this type of dovetail, 
you would angle it like that. But ordinarily you would not because uh, ordinarily you just move them back and forth over, over each other. Let's go back to as is mode. <clears throat> Another um, way to adjust this viewing is we can go to the view tab and set the transparency value to something like 85 so now you can sort of see transparently into there and let's set this one also to 85 Try a different color for this one and see if that helps too. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.